Well, a school in Jervis today is dealing with tragedy after a 13 year old boy was hit and killed by an Amtrak train. It happened last night around 7 o'clock near First and Ivy. Investigators say that boy and his friends were walking home on the tracks. Brent Weisberg sat down with the family of Diego Rodriguez. Just he's just a great person. Gabriel San Juan watched his cousin Diego Rodriguez grow up. Always seen him as my brother. When he was a young boy, Diego's mother passed away and he moved in with his aunt and uncle. We cared for him like so much. He was always very energetic. You could see and feel this 13 year old's energy every day at school. He had a lot of friends, a lot of friends. He cared about you. Like, he was always there for you. Like, if you needed someone, like, you can he, you can honestly trust him. I talked to him just yesterday. Dianica Ramon says Diego always made people smile. She, like so many others, are wondering why Diego was walking on the railroad tracks last night. We crossed through them, but we never really, like, walked or nothing. The train is, a, is an integral part of this community and has been uh, for years. The school superintendent says every time they hear a train's horn, this community will remember what happened. That's what makes it really, really difficult. A difficult and painful loss for a town smaller than most inner city high schools. In a small community like ours, we do know everybody. And to know Diego Rodriguez means you know how much he cared for his friends and family. There's no other way that I would remember him. I mean, that's just how he was. Reporting in Jervis, I'm Brent Weisberg, Queen 6 News.